That's better. Amen. <laughs> Christians United for Israel has over 4.3 million members. And I bring you greetings in the name of John Hagee and Diana Hagee. از طرف جان هگی و خانومش من سلام می‌رسونم. I want to share with you about what we do from the word of God. من می‌خوام با شما شیر کنم ما چی کار می‌کنیم و از طریق کلام خدا. But first I want to acknowledge again the, the singers and the musicians they did such an awesome job here today. ولی اول واقعا می‌خوام بگم مرسی شما که پرستش کردین خیلی کار عالی کردین مرسی. As a musician, my heart is always with the musicians in worship. خب منم خودم ساز میزنم واسه این قلبم واقعا با آدمایی که پرستش میکنن. Amen. So before I share, I would like to share a song with you. Is that okay? پس قبل از اینکه من پیامو بدم دوست دارم یه پرستشی بکنم. نداره؟ This is a song that we do at our church. We do a lot of Hebrew and Black gospel music combined. Ma tu kelisamo kheli ahangay shokozire kozoriye ebri mikonim va gospel siyafus ahang mikonim. But in English, help me, help me sing one part. Ye jamanu komak. You're just gonna say, Blessed are you, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord. She. Thank you. 
ستاره های از آسمان همه رو برمیگرد Over 5,000 joined us from across the country and around the world. Twenty-five countries were represented at the conference last weekend. Um, among those were Libya, Egypt, Libya, Mesr, Brazil, Brazil, Mexico. Mexico. The one nation that was not represented was Iran. Next year, Iran will be with us. This is why I'm here. have a tremendous ministry here. And a very powerful man of God. Many of you who've come to faith in Jesus came out of Islam. You came to faith because Jesus saved you. Amen. And God has given your pastor a vision for the Iranian people. I've come to confirm that vision and stand with you. The regime of the Ayatollahs is soon to fall. رژیم آیت الله زود به کم مونده که بریزه It is only a matter of a small bit of time خیلی کم مونده 
God has placed you to pray for and intercede for Iran. خداوند شما رو آورده اینجا که بتونیم دعا کنیم و نماینده نماینده بکنیم برای ایران. He has been listening to your prayers. داره گوش میده به دعاهاتون. And he's moving on your behalf. As you share the gospel with the Iranian people. وقتی که شما به اشارت میدین و پیام مسیح رو با ایرانیا شیر میکنین. As you share the love of Jesus Christ. وقتی که شما داری محبت مسیح رو با مردم شیر میکنین. I've come with one message. من با یک پیام اومدم اینجا. Teach them to love Israel and the Jewish people. یا تعلیم بده بهشون که یهودیا رو بهشون عشق بدن و اسرائیلیا رو دوست داشته باشن. After 40 years of the Ayatollah's reign. بعد از 40 سال که الان این رژیم حکومت میکنه. They have infused Iran with much hatred for Israel and the Jewish people. خیلی کینه برای اسرائیل معرفی کردن. They have persecuted Christians. و مسیحا رو میندازن زندان میکشن. They have persecuted the Jewish people. یهودیا هم همینطور. The Jewish people who have been there since 586 BC. The Jewish people who were present at the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2. Who then took the gospel back to Iran, back to Persia. And And in these lands, Christianity is being persecuted like never before. My friend Carmel's family was expelled in the 1970, early 1980s. Almost one million Jews were expelled from North Africa in the Middle East from 1948. The reason why the Jewish people are not being persecuted in those lands now دلیلی که یهودی قوم یهود الان اذیت نمیکنند تو اون زمینا الان with the exception of those who remain in Iran با همین ایران رو میذاریم کنار is because they have been pushed out برای اینکه خلشون دادن بیرون Many of them fled to the Jewish state of Israel. So now Islamic terrorism is focused on the Christians. Because there's an old saying. First the Saturday people. اول شخصای شنبه then the sunday people بعدا شخصای یک شنبه there is a christian genocide happening in much of north africa and the middle east خیلی جاهای توی شمال آفریق و خاور میانه الان دارن میکشن the one place in the region where christians are free and growing in number فقط یک جا هست تو اون ایالت که مسیحیا آزاد هستن و دارن رشد میکنن is the jewish state of israel تو استیت یهودی اسرائیل هست Our Jewish brothers and sisters are praying for the Christians being persecuted in the Middle East. And in this season, it is time for the Christians to stand in solidarity with Israel and the Jewish people. You come from a rich ancient legacy. شما خیلی تاریخ و فرهنگ پر و زیبا دارید. It was King Cyrus. کوروش بود. As your pastor had said. همون جوری که کشیشتون گفت. Who was responsible for the beginning of the redemption of the Jews. که مسئول بود. اصلا هدفش این بود که این نجات یهودیا رو به کار بندازه شروع بکنه. God used Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. خدا نبوکنزار بابل استفاده کرد. 
to destroy Jerusalem and the temple. But God prophesied through Isaiah that Cyrus would redeem them. ولی خداوند از طریق نبی اشایا گفت که نه این کورو شما رو نجات میده من شما رو نجات میدم از طریق Isaiah received that prophecy some 200 years before Cyrus was born و این نبی 200 سال قبل از اینکه کوروش به دنیا بیاد اینو گفت اینو نبوت کرد He called Cyrus by name اسم کوروش رو گفت این نبی اشایا And they must have said, Isaiah, you're crazy. Who is this Cyrus that you speak of? But in the first chapter of Ezra, King Cyrus of Persia made a decree that the Jews which in the Persian kingdom should return to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple to the living God. Today, Iran stands at the crossroads. امروز ایران یک جای خیلی مهم می ایسته. ایران can choose to be Haman. ایران می تونه انتخاب کنه که هامان باشه. Who persecuted the Jewish people? که یهودیا رو نابود کرد. Or be Cyrus. یا کوروش. Who liberated the Jewish people? که یهودیا رو آزاد کرد. And stood in solidarity with Israel. و ایستاد یک تا دل با اسرائیل. God has given you a spirit of Cyrus. خدا به شما یک روح کوروش رو داده. Of strength and of royalty and of power. که قدرت داده و رویالتی داده و. God called Cyrus his servant. خدا به کوروش گفت تو خادم من هستی. And told Cyrus he would give him authority over the earth. و به کوروش گفت من به تو اقتدار میدم رو تمام زمین. And told Cyrus he would then free the exiles of Israel. و به کوروش گفت و تو میری اون اسرائیلیایی که پخش شدی آزاد میکنی. You've been given great authority. While you teach the people about Jesus. While you share the message of salvation. I encourage you. To share the biblical view of Israel and the Jewish people as well. To share, can you angel? How do you see the Jews and Israel? Home Israel. Replacement theology. I don't know if I can say it that way. Yeah, this tarz effect, this philosophy, this philosophy he has. Is the false teaching that God is finished with the Jewish people? یه فلسفه ای هست که در تعلیم میده که خدا کارش تمومه با یهودیا. That once the church came into being. که وقتی که کلیسا کریت شد، بزرگ شد. God ended his covenant with the children of Abraham. داد قولش رو با اسرائیلیا با یهودیا تموم کرد. This is not true. این درست نیست، این دروغه. The word of God says his covenant with Abraham is forever. کلام خدا میگه اون قولی که داده به ابراهیم اون بعدی که داده همیشه است. This is why you helped me sing Shield of Abraham. We sang, Blessed are you, Lord. You are the Shield of Abraham. David said, Thou, O Lord, are a shield for me. David تو مزمورا گفته بود که خدا و تو واقعا یک شیل تاسی برای من دار واقعا فارسی شو شیل دن نمیدونم. My glory, my glory, and the lifter of my head. و تو هستی خدا و این که جلال می دی من و دست ما میاری بالا. I have a big family, six children. من فامیل بزرگی دارم شش تا بچه شش تا فرزند. God has blessed us. They are now all adults, age 28 to 17. My last two will go to college next week. So pray God send more money, more money. When they were young, we would have worship service in our home. 
وقتی که کوچیک بودیم ما تو خونمون پرستش سرویس پرستش داشتیم I would get on the piano and they would sing with me من پیانو می زدم با من می خوندن Their favorite song بهترین اون آهنگی که خیلی خوششون می اومد بود And I'm sure many of you know it و شما فکر کنم خیلی هاتون بشناسین Was Father Abraham پدر آبراهیم Father Abraham had many sons If you know that song wave it می دونین این آهنگو پدر ابراهیم خیلی فرزند داشت If not, we'll teach it some other time. And they sing and they wave their arms and they dance around. And they would love the song. The song is based in the scriptures. Hebrews says that Abraham believed though he did not see and God counted it as righteousness. با همینی که ابراهیم نمیدید ولی باور داشت خدا گفت این راستیه and that he became the father of the faithful حسین شد پدر همه ایمان you and i believe in calvary even though we were not there that day من و تو ایمان داریم calvary همون که خداوند رفت رو عیسی مسیح رفت رو صلیب با همینی که ما اونجا نبودیم So the writer says that you and I are sons and daughters of Abraham. پس نویسنده تو انجیل میگه ما فرزند دختر و پسرهای ابراهیم هست. If God cut his covenant with Abraham, اگر خداوند این وعده‌شو می‌برید با ابراهیم، then you and I do not have a covenant with God. پس من و تو این وعده رو نداشتیم با خداوند. Why do we know this is true? چرا می‌دونیم این حقیقته؟ He told Abraham, I will bless those who bless you. برای اینکه به ابراهیم خداوند گفت من برکت میدم به اونایی که به تو برکت And those who curse you will be cursed. و اونایی که به تو لعنت میدم من لعنتش میشم. And through you the nations of the earth will be blessed. و از طریق تو همه قوم های دنیا برکت میگیرن. Jesus came out of the line of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. مسیح اومد از خط ابراهیم، ایزاق و یعقوب. He is the line of the tribe of Judah. شیر یهود. قوم یهود. And the savior of the world. God's covenant with Israel remains today. Your great and mighty nation has been brought to its knees. این کشور پر قدرت شما الان اومده به زانوش. Because of the Ayatollah's hatred for Israel and the Jewish people. برای که Ayatollah انگار کینه داره واسه اسرائیل و قوم یهودی. Iran is the number one state sponsor of terror. ایران نمایندگی تروریسم شماره یک تو همه دنیا. Hezbollah is all over the world. Hezbollah همه دنیا هست. Including in Los Angeles. حتی تو لس آنجلس. My friend Carmel is a journalist. دوستم کارمل نویسنده هست واسه روزنامه ها. And last year he wrote an article that Hezbollah had left letters on people's cars in Los Angeles. و سال پیش یه آرتیکل نوشته بود که Hezbollah نامه نوشته بود و گذاشته بود رو ماشینای مردم تو ایران. Israeli intelligence lets us know that Hezbollah has already infiltrated the United States in large numbers. اسرائیل میتونه به ما بگه که حزب الله اطلاع داده که حزب الله همه جا تو امریکا هست تو خیلی شماره بزرگ بزرگ اینجا هست ایران is preparing a war for Israel in Lebanon and the Golan right now همین الان ایران داره آماده میشه واسه جنگ تو لبنان با اسرائیل ایران is the number one funder of Hamas in Gaza ایران هست که شماره یک تروریسته که داره واسه حماس پول میده تو غزا one of the reasons why the Iranian people are protesting in the streets چرا الان یک دلیلی که مردم ایران دارن اعتراض میکنن تو خیابون ها is because Iran is spending billions of dollars to attempt to destroy Israel برای اینکه ایران داره همه پولش بیلیون بیلیون پول داره میذاره که بتونه اسرائیل رو نابود بکنه And a once great and mighty Persian nation. و یک وطن پر قدرت یک بار یک روز بود که خیلی پر قدرت بود. Has been lowered because of Israel hatred. الان اصلا نابود شده چرا؟ برای اینکه کینه داره انقدر باشه اسرائیل. This is why this season is so important. واسه این این فصل خیلی مهمه. You are praying for the salvation of the Iranian people. شما دارین واسه نجات ایران دعا میکنی. 
God is listening to your prayers. And in order for the gospel to be shared freely in Iran, this regime must fall. Only a matter of time. God reminds us that the heart of the king is in his hands. And like the rivers of water, he can turn it however he chooses. That means God is in control. I want to read one scripture for you before we're finished. I'm going to read a, a verse in Romans chapter 11. In preparation for today, I sent scriptures to Shadi. I wasn't sure which way we were going to go today. You are a church that flows with the Holy Spirit. So I determined to flow with the Holy Spirit with you. I had to apologize to Shadi. I sent her 30 scriptures. I told her we won't do all of those. But let me say to you, people of God, from Genesis to Revelation, God's love for Israel and the Jewish people is evident. محبت خدا واسه اسرائیل و مردم یهودی مشخصه and those of us who've been saved by Jesus و اونایی که نجات گرفتن از عیسی مسیح have been grafted into that covenant و ما هم این تو این قولی که داده به اسرائیل ما هم اداپت شدیم تو این we did not replace Israel ما نیومدیم که جای اسرائیل رو بگیریم but we were joined to spiritual Israel ولی اومدیم به اسرائیل روحانی یک یک فامیلی بشیم and when Jesus returns و وقتی که مسیح برمیگرده he will reign from Jerusalem و از اورشلیم هست که سر میکنه if you believe that say amen اگر اعتقاد داریم به این بگین آمین Romans chapter 11 Rumian 11 verse 1 Yik I just learned a uh, Farsi word Yik Yik one, one. <laughs> I'm trying to learn There are many verses and scriptures we could share Khali ayat hast ke mitunam ba shoma share konam Very many Khali I'm not going to read it, but in Acts, when Peter stood up to preach at Pentecost, he quoted the scriptures over and over again. And every scripture that Peter preached at the day of Pentecost, Petros بشارت داد همون روز پنتکاست was about God's love and covenant with Israel and the Jewish people راجع به محبت خدا برای اسرائیل و عهدی که داره با قوم یهود بود I don't have time to prove it to you today من امکان ندارم که اینو واسهتون ثابت بکنم I was told I only have 3 hours من که فقط 3 ساعت کشیش راست گفت وقت دارم شوخی میکنم just joking Verse 1, Romans 11. Paul says, I ask then, has God rejected his people? By no means, for I am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. 
همه جان رومیان یازده یک پس میپرسم آیا خدا قوم خود را رد کرده است به هیچ وجه خود من اسرائیلی و فرزند ابراهیم و از طایفه بنیامین هستم پاول پالوس بی اپاستل که رس یک رسول بود is the most famous Jewish believer in Jesus in the scriptures معروف ترین ایماندار یهودی توی کلام it is Paul who gave us the majority of the New Testament و پالوس هست که بیشتر از عهد تازه رو به ما داد Paul who started off as a persecutor of the Christians پالوس یه شخصی که مسیحی رو میخواست نابود بکنه و میکرد but Jesus touched his heart amen ولی مسیح قلبش رو لمس کرد آمین Many of you were hostile to Christians before Jesus touched your heart. خیلی از شما مثل پالوس کینه داشتیم به مسیحیا و مسیحیت قبل از اینکه عیسی مسیح لمستون کرد. Like Paul, God touched you. و مثل پالوس شما رو لمس کرد. And your pastor earlier. و کشیشتون یه ذره قبل. As Chadi was translating for me. همون موقع که داشتم واسه کشیش واشنگتن ترنسلیت می‌کردم. Said that now that you are saved. گفت به شما حالا که شما نجات دارین. Many of you who've come from Iran living in Los Angeles. خیلیاتون از ایران اومدین که تو لس آنجلس زندگی کنین. With the beaches. و کنار دریا هست. And the shopping. و خرید هست. And Hollywood and the actors. و Hollywood هست. Actor هستن. همه چی هست. You could just be very comfortable. میتونی خیلی راحت باشی. And we have peace in Jesus. و ما الان آرامش داریم تو مسیح. But God has stirred your pastor's spirit. ولی خدا روح کشیشتون رو لمس کرده، روشن کرده. For the millions in Iran who don't know the Jesus. های تو ایران که مسیح رو نمی‌شناسن. And so Paul پس بنابراین پالوس is ministering to the gentiles داره به اشارت میده با کیا اون شخصایی که یهود نبودن 2000 years ago 2000 سال پیش and replacement theology و این اعتقادی که مسیحا الان جز جایگزین یهود یهود اومدن اسرائیل اومدن or contempt for the Jewish people has already infected the church. Replacement theology does not always lead to persecution of the Jews. But persecution of the Jews always begins with replacement theology. ولی این نابودی آدمایی که سعی میکنن نابود کنن یهودیا را اولش با این طرز فکر شروع میشه. I'll say it one more time. دوباره میگم. A little differently. یه جور دیگه میگم. Dismissing the Jews from their covenant. اینی که فکر میکنین اوکی الان یهودا دیگه عهد ندارن با خدا ما اومدیم مسیحی ها اومدن به جاشون does not always lead to Jewish persecution همیشه این طرز فکر نمیرسه یه جا که یهودی ها رو مثلا مسیحی ها میخوان اذیت کنن but Jewish persecution ولی اینی که یهودی ها اذیت میشن اسیر میشن نابود میشن always begins with dismissing the Jews from their covenant همیشه شروع میشه با این طرز فکر که خداوند دیگه عهد ابراهیم رو نداره باهاشون Romans 11 and 1 once more دوباره رومیان 11 1 I ask then has God rejected his people by no means, for I am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. آیا خدا قوم خود را رد کرده است به هیچ وجه خود من اسرائیلی و فرزند ابراهیم و از طایفه بنیامین هستم. Why is Paul saying this to these people? چرا پالوس داره اینو میگه؟ 
It is because there is a rumor going around the church. That because now Gentiles are coming into the faith. God has shown the back of his hand to the Jewish people. They are I know you don't do this here. But I and for where I come from in the Northern California it's called the Christian strut the proud look that Proverbs says God has the Christians in Rome are doing the Christian strut And you know what they're saying to themselves? Those silly Jews. They have rejected Jesus. And now we have become the heirs to the promise. And Paul, Paul, the Jewish apostle, he writes them a letter and this portion of the letter starts by saying has God rejected his people? He's, he says I'm a Jew from the tribe of Benjamin he, as if he's telling them You need to calm down. Need to stop this. And then Paul proceeds to tell the Christians what their spiritual legacy is. He tells them if it wasn't for the Jews you wouldn't have the scriptures. Said if it wasn't for the Jews, you wouldn't have the prophets of Israel. He says the Jews are your elder brothers. He says if it wasn't for the Jews, you wouldn't have Jesus. Who is a Jewish rabbi. I love the way I love the way our founder, Dr. Hagee, says it. من خیلی خوشم میاد این دکتر هیگی که این مؤسسه مال اون شروع کرده He says Jesus was a Jew میگه عیسی مسیح یهودی بود Mary and Joseph were Jews مریم و یوسف یهودی بودن Jeremiah Isaiah Hosea all Jews Jeremiah Isaiah همه نبیا یهودی بودن He said I'm sorry you all John the Baptist wasn't a Baptist گفت ببخشید ولی که تعمید میداد He was a Jew. Paul warns them about anti-Semitism. And he describes Israel as an olive tree. I'm, two last verses and then I will sit down. And I will sit down. Romans 11:17. I'll read. But if some of the branches were broken off and you all the way wild olive shoot were grafted in among the others and now share in the nourishing root of the olive tree. اما اگر بعضی از شاخه‌ها بریده شدند و تو که نهال زیتون جنگلی بودی به جای آنها پیوند شدی و در ریشه و در چربی زیتون شریک گردیدی Please remember ladies and gentlemen خواهش می‌کنم خانم و آقایون یادتون باشه He's talking to Gentile Christians داره راجع به مسیحا حرف می‌زنه به مسیحا حرف می‌زنه که یهودی نبودن And he just called them wild olive sheep و الان چی گفت بهشون گفت زیتون وحشی هستن Wild وحشی Uncultured بی فرهنگ Unlearned بی تعلیم 
Paul had the ability as a preacher to make everyone angry by the time he finished preaching. He told the, Jew, the Gentile Christians you needed the blood of Jesus you needed the, you needed the knowledge of the word of God you, you need to know there's only one God not 100 and it is the Jewish people that God gave to teach you that you were a wild olive shoot grafted in last verse last verse could you go ahead and read it in Farsi and I'll read it in English last sure verse 18 18 18 به خاطر داشت به خاطر داشته باشید که تو حامل ریشه نیستی بلکه ریشه حامل توست. Do not be arrogant toward the branches. If you are, remember, it is not you that supports the root. It's the root that supports you. Paul warned the Christian church. Paulus گفت warning داد. that it is possible to be saved by Jesus and still hate the Jewish people. Paul, the Jewish believer in Jesus, warns the Gentiles, warns the Gentiles coming to the faith that you must love Israel and the Jewish people. Why did he say it there? As a prophet, maybe he saw today that anti-Semitism is rising in the church here in this country. Anti-Semitism is rising among the Christians in Europe. And they are reaping the destruction because God says He would bless those who bless Israel. Persian worshippers of Christ. You stand at a threshold in a time in history. To share the gospel in Iran like hasn't been done in over 40 years. And to raise up Christians who stand in solidarity with Israel and the Jewish people. This is your time and your season. این وقت شماست این فصل شماست. Amen. I want to thank you for today which I, which I know is a beginning. You have much to teach, teach the Christian world. About love for God. About commitment to the gospel. And what it means to stand with and love Israel. Like Cyrus, you've been given a world stage. So that when the regime falls, the world will see what type of Christians come from the Iranian people. If they will indeed bless Abraham and his seed. And that they will indeed bless Abraham and his seed. You will, you will show the world. 
the way that Cyrus showed the world what it meant to bless Israel and the Jewish people you will now show the world what it means to truly love the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and what it truly means to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Pastor, I'm going to pray. Is that okay? If you could just put that one graphic with the logo on there. I didn't even show the video. I'll share it later on. But I want to just pray with you. Father, I thank you for your goodness to us. I thank you for Pastor Russell. I thank you for these mighty men and women of God. And I thank you for this time in history. That as your gospel is preached to the Iranian people. They will be raised up as Christians who stand in solidarity with Israel. They will be raised up as Christians who bless the Jewish people. I thank you for the power and the anointing in this room. The anointing that flows from the man of God. Thank you that your word says delight yourself in the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart. Thank you that the man of God leads the people into blessings. The blessing of the Lord that makes rich and adds no sorrow. Thank you that you made the man of God strong and mighty. Thank you that you have given him such grace and strength. For this hour and this season, we thank you that no weapon formed against him shall prosper. And, and that every tongue that rises against him, he shall condemn. We thank you you will surround him and his family as the mountains surround Jerusalem. We, we thank you that you are his glory and the shield about him. And you are, and you are the lifter of his head. And David said, now shall my head be lifted up above all of my enemies. In Jesus' name we rebuke, we rebuke every demonic spirit and every device of the enemy. That would come against Pastor Rasul. Thank you that you've given him victory. Even as you promised Israel, the enemy would attack one way. But would, but would flee seven ways. We thank you, God, for this hour and this season. We thank you, God, for a fresh anointing in this season. For a prophetic word for your people. 
مردم خدا We thank you God for gathering the outcast of Israel شکر می کنیم خداوند که قوم های اسرائیل که اخراج شدن From the four corners of the earth از چهار پوینت دنیا and raising up the pastors like pastor rasul to, de- to declare to the people that we rejoice for what you are doing in israel we rejoice for what you are doing in the earth we give you glory and honor and praise uh, and we bless your name for your good goodness to us and as a Cyrus you would choose this man and these people as you bring the redemption to Israel and the Jewish people and we thank you in Jesus mighty name amen and amen and amen amen I love you. Pastor, there's one last thing I need to share before I move out of the way. And, and then I'm going to move out of your way, I promise. He, he, he promised to feed me and I'm hungry. Hold on, one, one second, Pastor. Could, could you just do this for me, please? Because we'll be back together again, but I have to show you one last thing. People of God, the return of the Jewish people to the land after some 2,000 years of exile is a prophetic word from God. You can read it at home but go to Isaiah chapter 11 ولی بریم به اشایا 11 Read it at home. خونه بخونید. Read Isaiah 11. اشایا 11. Especially verse 11 and 12. مخصوصا 11 و 12. پس شد اشایا 11 مخصوصا 11 و 12. When you come to the part وقتی که میرسیم به اونجا where it says that God will raise a banner که نوشته خداوند یک Get in your hand a towel, a flag, something you can wave. Wave, wave something at me now. Grab something. Not your friends. Yeah, just wave, wave at me, wave at me. Wave, 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 wave. Wave. Ah, amen, 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 amen. When you read that part, God says that he will gather the outcasts of Israel and wave a banner for the nations. When you read that, you wave. Do you know what that means? The banner is for the Gentiles. God is doing this right now. You know what my Israeli friends say? They say, do me sani. We're so excited. God is gathering, God is gathering our brothers and sisters from the four corners of the earth. And returning them to Israel. They say, it's a sign that Mashiach is coming. This is the sign that he's returning. You will declare to the Iranian people that he is soon to return. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.